Hey, what's up? I'm Dmitri. And I'm David. And this is our Snuffkin. So, Snuffkin used to be an ambulance, a Ford Transit 2017. We bought it used with 180,000 kilometers on it. And then we started turning it into Snuffkin. So, allow us to show you around. Welcome to our home. I have two sisters, Lizel and Helen. They usually sit on this two seats. When Lizel and Helen get bored on the way, we expand the table and they go on the way. When the time comes to cooking, we have this wonderful kitchen with an expandable kitchen top. And we got a set of cutlery and utensils ready at hand. We've got a gas stove for cooking, and this is all we need for cooking. When it comes to the sleeping arrangement, we have this double bed below, which is quite spacious, and I got plenty of room to spare. So usually me and my wife sleep here. And the bunk bed hanging from the ceiling for me. If it seems cramped, you're quite wrong. Even my dad fits in over here. When it comes to storage, we got these kitchen cabinets and these two cabinets up on top. We've also got plenty of storage in the, in the trunk. We've got these slide-out shelves, if you call them, where we would put containers. The right size, so everything slides out. And Every inch of space in the trunk is easy to access. We also have this outdoor shower implemented. Uh, we don't have the um, curtains yet, uh, but we're going to hang them between the doors and we're going to have a place, like a holder, for the shower on one of the doors. We play basketball practically every day. And we want to install a real full-size basketball hoop on top of the car, so we can practice shooting every day. When it comes to the water system, we have a 140 liter tank installed in the back. So the whole thing works as follows. We have a pump. It's a low pressure yacht pump, which is quite important because at first we try to install like some Chinese pump, which had like 8 psi of pressure, which would totally wreck the whole system. And we have water accumulator that follows. We don't have hot water yet, uh, we might install the heater, but for now we're pretty fine, just with cold water. The waste water goes into this uh, can, uh, which we just manually empty for now. But we plan to install a bigger grey water tank under the car. When it comes to electricity, we chose to keep it simple. We just installed this uh, power bank, uh, which has uh, two kilowatt hours of capacity, um, which can power MacBooks, which can power like whatever we have on the go, which has a four kilowatt inverter with pure sine wave um, built into it and it just charges from the car alternator when we drive um, if we need to charge it quickly we can just take it out and bring it to any ac outlet and it charges in two hours like we say in incredibly fast charging so for now it does all we need it can power whatever power tools we have and um, it's been great we plan when we plan a sleepover in winter, we have this diesel heater. Also, we always carry with us an expandable table to take outside and a bunch of seats uh, and things to enjoy the nature. When it comes to sleeping arrangement for our little girls, we convert this whole place into an extra bed for them. We've got plenty of storage space under the seats. For example, I keep my tools, my toolbox in here with 
bunch of tools. So let's talk about how we actually use this thing. So first of all, this is our family car. We don't have any other car but this one. So uh, most of the time we just drive around, um, drive around the city. Um, it fits in perfectly in any parking lot. So we just use it as a regular car and we've got six seats uh, to fit our whole family in. Then, often we stay for sleepovers, just me and David. We really enjoy living here together. So the last four months, I think we've slept here more than we actually stayed at home. And for the two of us, this car has plenty of space and we are really relaxed and chill here. Now, finally, there's this most typical usage of a caravan, which is vacations and like family trips. Um, so we just get all five of us in here and we drive somewhere. We stay the nights uh, like in new places, new cities or on the nature. Like all of us fit in here, but uh, like it's not super comfortable when there are five of us sleeping here. So usually we prefer to only stay all of us here together when we're driving somewhere and when we get to a place we just uh, rent a flat uh, for our girls, for, uh, for la our ladies, and we stay here, just the two of us. Here's how we use it um, in our day-to-day -day city life. So for example, like usually I work from home, but if I have a meeting somewhere uh, where I need to drive, sometimes I would just drive there in the middle of the night where the roads are clear. I would stay the night there on my own um, and then I just wake up and walk into a meeting um, and then drive back home uh, again the roads are clear so basically this car can be my office um, I actually enjoy working here quite a lot like when it gets too noisy at home and when the girls just making too much noise I walk into the car uh, and I'm uh, enjoying some quiet peace of mind in here so the basic idea, like the whole spirit of this uh, conversion was that our needs are like very different from what most other families would need. So we just built the whole thing to suit our family and like the members of our family. Um, so build something that, that suits you um, and just don't be afraid to experiment and build something non-conventional. Now that we've shared all our secrets with you, Get out of here and go and build a new caravan of your own. Good luck building. Bye. And stop staring at the screen. Shoo, shoo.